Hello! Today I'm here with a new video and I'm with my old setup today because I'm going to do my base routine and I think that the natural lighting is going to be best for that. So today I'm doing my base routine and I'm going to do two of these videos. Today we are going to start with my liquid foundation base routine. This is the routine I use when I'm filming or when I'm doing like a full face and uh, going out for dinner or something like that. And the next video it's going to be with my powder foundation and that I use when I only want to be a little bit more fresh and it's an easier and more natural. This is also kind of natural but I hope you get my point. So I will show my base routine today. And it was not so long time ago I did this on Swedish, but now I'm talking English on my channel. So I am going to do this in English. And I'm going to mention all the products, but I'm also going to leave them down in the description box. If I maybe forget or if you want to buy any of this. And first of all we can start with my skin. Uh, I have normal to dry skin when it's get to the winter and it's get a little bit colder it get more dry now it's pretty good i got a little friend here um but else my skin is good and i am i have fair skin tone as you can see and i got the natural undertone and a little bit more to the yellow than the pink so i <laughs> what you should call sh should call I have the skin tone porcelain, so it's natural and more to the, it's fair and more to the natural side and I have dry skin, normal to dry and I am 29 years old. In less than 6 months I turn 30, have a little crisis about that but that is my skin so maybe not the, all these products suits you if you don't have the same skin type as me and one thing that is really important is to start off with a moisturized face with the skincare products and I have done that and now we're going to start and for my primer right now I use this one this is from Kix, it's a Swedish store and this is the, their primer spray. I really like this. I don't know if you should shake it because it doesn't say but I shake a little bit and then I spray this all over my face. And this is very sticky primer. <laughs> I got some in my mouth doesn't taste good it's a pr <coughs> I open my mouth too soon it's a pretty sticky primer and I really like this it feels good and the foundation goes on wonderful and I usually <laughs> spray this then do my eyes but I'm not going to do my eyes today so we're just gonna wait a little bit uh, I am going to do my face and my eyebrows today because I think that's part of the, the base. My eyebrows is part of the base because I'm not going to do foundation and leave the brows like this. Okay so for foundation I like neutral foundations with a medium coverage and I don't like matte foundations. So I am using the natural glow from Lumiene. This is one of my favorites. But it's a little bit too dark. So I also use this custom color drops from H&M. And this is white. Um, this is not going to change your foundation with the undertone or something like that. And that's good. Because some of these do, I have noticed. And I'm gonna shake both of these. And this is not too... It's not super dark for me, so I'm just... This is starting to run out. And I only take one drop of this white. A little, little tiny drop. And 
then I mix these together. And I also so using a sponge to put on my foundation, but I usually do like this. And right now I am using the Real Techniques complexion sponge, I think it's called. And this is really, really good. And I'm also taking my foundation down on my neck. And I try to not get so much in my eyebrows. But sometimes it gets in my eyebrows, but yeah, that's okay. I think the nose is the trickiest part because of my ring. So I, I'm trying to do like this, but... And as you can see, this is a very light coverage, but it covers and it's a really glowy foundation. I really love this foundation. It's one of the two best foundations I have ever tried. Like that, and then we're going to put on my concealer, and I am going to use ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and this is in the color Fair 02. And I'm going to use my Infinity Powder from Linda Halberg in light. And this concealer, first times I hated it, and I hate it without this powder. This is a super light uh, concealer. It's almost too light for me and that like never happens. And it's very dry. So I do one eye at a time because if I do both eyes at the same time, it's going to be super dry on one of the eyes that I start with. Uh, and it's, it's hard to work with, so I wouldn't recommend this one. I have two. <laughs> Because I bought two, because I think if I like it, I don't have to make an order for just one, but I don't really like it. I like it, but I don't love it. Maybe we should say like that. So I just take a small amount on my eye, then I take my sponge. And as you can see, this is so light, and I'm usually have troubles to find light concealers. And then I take the powder and I take this little pass. And this powder, it darkens down the concealer. So the concealer isn't too light anymore. And I don't bake <laughs> bake in the like real conception and bake, but I take quite a lot and I tap it in. I am um, my mascara easily falls down here if I don't do like this. So I do like this and then I leave it like this and then I do the other eye. And when this is done I'm going to set my foundation and I have not a powder that I love. I really want to find a new powder but right now I'm using this from makeup store. It's their loose powder in milk and this is translucent with a little hint of yellow and my foundation is a little bit more to the pink side and to neutral it down so it fits my skin tone I need to have a yellow powder and now I also taking away all this excess powder underneath my eyes Now I have powder on my shoulder. And I have a lot of peach fuzz in my face, so I always do like this. 
and I'm done with powder so the peach fuzz is laying down so like that and as you see now I look really flat and not so good on my face so it's time for contour and stuff I don't do a heavy contour because I I don't like it on myself but I use a little bit and I start have started to love this one it's Gotham from Nabla and I use this brush from Linda Holberg it's 3010 no, no, 310, 310, and I take a little bit, and I only doing my cheekbones, just to get a little bit of, and as I said, I really like the saddle contour. Because I am that pale and I don't think I look good in it. You can do whatever you want. Sometimes I do a little underneath my shin, but not always. Like that, and now we're going to use a blush. And I usually go for one of these two. These are also from Nabla. And uh, this is Kendra and this is Nectarine, but I think we're going to take Nectarine. And I am using a brush from Real Techniques. This is their Diamond Crush 302. And this brush picks up a lot of color. Let me just take... I really like this brush. I don't like much blush either. I don't know how well it shows on camera, this blush. And it always feels a little bit weird to just have this foundation routine with no eye makeup because I usually don't do this. Do this. Something like that. And then it's time for highlighter. And I also use a highlighter from Nabla, and this is Baby Glow, and a brush from Linda Holberg, and this is. 306. This is my absolute favorite highlighter brush and my absolute favorite highlighter. And this highlighter is very... This is my all-time favorite highlighter. I think I will hit pan on this soon. This is a very natural highlighter but it's buildable. And I use a little on my nose sometimes and also on my shin and sometimes I do like this with the leftovers. And that's all for my cheeks. I think it's too light in the camera to even see shit right now. But I hope you see something. And now it's time for the eyebrows so we can look normal again. And I am using two products. I'm using the Kat Von D a little brow struck dimension powder in the color blonde it looks like this and I have hit pan in this and then I'm using Eden Minerals perfect eyebrows fiber infused volumizing tinted brow gel in the color light so I start with brushing my brows and now I got hair in my eye where the hell did that came from start to brush my brows I have really light brow hair as you can see but I have very much I have long and a lot of brow hairs and I'm using this little brush it's from Real Techniques I don't know the name because it's all gone but this was in a limited edition kit and this is my absolute favorite eyebrow brush of all time. And I'm going to be so sad when this breaks. Okay, concentration. I hate doing my eyebrows on camera. 
because it will never go well. And I am that kind of person that do my eyebrows at least five days a week. So I don't know why I have such a hard time to do it on camera because I do it every day. And this did not turn out good. Hmm. Okay. So as you can see, it's quite a big difference. I think this is my good eyebrow most of the times. And I don't know why. I think everybody has one good brow and one and then I take this tinted eyebrow fiber infused volumizing tinted brow gel and I have to use the brow gel because my eyebrow hair is so long so if I don't do my eyebrows will the hair will like fall down and after a couple of hours it will not look good and also this one helps my brow the brow powder to stay on better and this is almost empty I think so that is my eyebrows and now we have one last step and this is that is bad that is setting spray and I'm starting to like this one from NYX is there do we finish long lasting setting spray i didn't like this at all before but now i start to like it and this you go you have to shake uh, i don't like the spray on this because it's very harsh um but i like how it looks now i look a little bit dry in my face uh, a little bit powdery and i want to have a little bit more glow back so that's why I use a dewy finish spray and I'm just going to shut up and spray my face and then I do a little bit of this and I don't like the smell of this either but it goes away when it dries and that is my base routine. As you can see, I'm not heavy on the contour, I'm not heavy on the blush, I'm not heavy on the highlight. But I like this. I like natural base. I don't like too much. And this is the way I've done my base for a couple of months now, I think. I just have to put something on my lip because the air dry is fudge. So this is my base routine. I will leave all the products and all the brushes down in the description box. And as I said in the beginning, there is going to be a base routine with my mineral powder foundation. I don't know when it will come up, but it will come up. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any tips on a good powder for dry skin, please let me know because I'm searching the world for one. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!